Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So today we are going to start the second module uh, of Introductory Biology Lab, which is offered uh, to freshmen at SSE. Today we are going to cover uh, cell cycle and mitosis. Basically, we are going to talk about mitosis, uh, and as compared to mitosis. Uh, I'll briefly touch upon meiosis as well so that your fundamental concepts which you learn in um, Bio 101 and uh, they become reinforced in the lab as well but during lab uh, you will uh, have a real-time uh, visualization of different stages of mitosis. So uh, before we get into nitty-gritty of uh, mitosis I think it is important to understand why uh, in a uh, biological lab uh, we are required to understand mitosis. We know uh, we start our life from a uh, single cell. Uh, so we have uh, sperm uh, which contributes 23 chromosomes. Uh, similarly the oocyte, the egg cell, uh, it also has 23 chromosomes. So this process of fertilization uh, that leads to formation of zygote and you know uh, this zygote is going to have now due to uh, fusion of sperm and egg now you will have uh, all uh, 46 chromosomes here um, in zygote and this is the single cell which gives rise to all the more than trillion cells in our body. How uh, <clears throat> these more than trillion cells uh, originate from single uh, cell is the process of mitosis. What happens, so this single cell, it divides into two identical cells uh, and these 46 chromosomes uh, are duplicated in such a way that when the single cell divides into two cells, so both the cells are identical to the mother cell. That is the crux of mitosis. So the two daughter cells are identical to the mother cells in terms of their uh, number of chromosomes. Now <clears throat> these uh, two cells <clears throat> again undergo mitosis and you have now <clears throat> two cells divided into four cells, all four uh, daughter cells are identical because each one of them inherit 46 chromosomes. So you can see now from single cell we have four, then again uh, cell division takes place uh, through my mitosis and you know we have now four cells, each cell divide mitotically and uh, two daughter cells look identical to the mother cells and you have 46 chromosomes each. Now, <clears throat> this process continues. This is a very, very special kind of cell cycle. This is, uh, uh, and I'll soon, uh, you know, uh, go through again the basics of cell cycle because mitosis is one of the phases of cell cycle. So this cell cycle is very, very special uh, and we call these cell divisions, which are mitotic, we call them cleavage as we learned in our Bio 101 lectures uh, about early development of embryos. So these cleavage divisions, uh, they don't involve any uh, intervening phase of cell growth. So cells does not uh, get enlarged in the size. The overall size of the uh, zygote or embryo it remains the same but you know DNA duplicates and the nucleus divides so cells divide then again you know uh, they enter into cell cycle 
into S phase, uh, you know, DNA replication takes place, uh, again cell divides. So these are early stage cleavage divisions uh, in, in vertebrates uh, like mammals, uh, if you look at Xenopus, so these are kind of similar cell divisions. Now, in case of mitosis, uh, as well as in, in meiosis, when we uh, say all the cells, they originate from the single cell, here at early developmental stage, what happens, there comes a stage when, you know, you have, I'm, I'm skipping, you know, blastocyst and all these gastrulation stages, etc., just to simplify things. So what you have here, you have now a process or a stage where the fate of different cell types, they get established. They get determined. So after mitosis, what happens, uh, cells keep dividing, they keep growing in numbers. Uh, each of these cell types, they uh, contain same 46 chromosomes, but what happens, there come, and all these cells, they morphologically, in, in kind of, uh, in, in terms of their shape, they apparently look similar, uh, but what happens, that their fates are determined. Uh, the fates uh, of different cell types, they are established by switching on different kinds of gene expression. So, for example, you know, these uh, cells, their fate is, you know, uh, determined to be future eye cells. Um, you have another group of cells, you know, whose fate is going to be uh, heart cells uh, or cardiomyocytes, whatever, which are going to, you know, contribute to formation of heart or eye or whatever. Uh, you know, then you have... Uh, other cell types which are going to, uh, you know, get their fate is determined to, let's say, uh, liver. Um, we have, you know, uh, then uh, we may have, you know, uh, some cells contributing to limbs. You know, different uh, tissues, their uh, cell lineages are established here. And this happens. Uh, at the level of gene expression and we learned about uh, differential gene expression in our 101 lectures. Now, these cells, they keep dividing and because at this particular stage when I just said uh, fate of diff cell fates are determined. Now, this is a very important Thing again because these cells are going to keep dividing mitotically, mitosis, so each cell contains 46 chromosomes and then what happens you have, you know, let's say now stick to one kind of cell type, for example these ones, these are going to make future eye cells contribute to development of eye. Now, when they will divide mitotically in the same embryo, and embryo undergoes, you know, uh, changes in the in the shape of embryo, like you know, you go into neurulation, um, so blastocyst, then gastrulation, and then neurulation. So what happens, uh, you know, these cells when they divide mitotically, they are going to, and 46 means the chromosomes they have. Each of this cell type, it remembers the fate which was established earlier during lineage. So mitosis not only leads to you know formation of identical cells in terms of chromosome numbers but also through mitosis through cell cycle you have cell fate is also established. So what happens you have you know all the I specific cells they not only keep dividing, but they remember the fate which is maintained due to expression of I uh, cell specific genes. 
No. Going through this, you know, that's how we get this trillions, more than trillion cells in our, in our body. And, you know, they contribute to these different cells in our body. They contribute to more than 200 different cell types. Now, one wonders uh, about meiosis. And, you know, if we <clears throat> think of meiosis, it's uh, the product of meiosis. Cells uh, which originate from some of the cells here but undergo meiosis, they are going to be different than the mother cells because the end product of meiosis is so from one mother cell you are going to have four uh, daughter cells and each of the four cells is going to have half the number of chromosomes than the mother cell. So if cell was having 46 chromosomes four products of meiosis each cell is going to have 23 chromosomes. So in case of before I touch upon meiosis what is important that in case of uh, our skin cell for, for example daily uh, we need a lot of mitosis because when I you know just brush my uh, skin like this uh, you know hundreds and thousands of dead cells they go away and these dead cells are replaced by uh, fresh young skin cell daily uh, and they are replaced through the process of this mitosis uh, because the new cells are being uh, made coming from the stem cell pool and they are replenishing the dead cells. Uh, now just briefly let's talk about meiosis. So what happens in case of uh, meiosis you have you know um, from same uh, zygote which uh, come into being due to uh, fertilization of sperm and egg. You have the 46 chromosomes here. Uh, you have you know, divide, division into two. As it goes on during very early embryogenesis in, in for example, mouse, what happens? Some of the cells, when, when you know these cell fates are being established, some of the cells which contain 46 chromosomes, they are separated from all the other cell types we just talked about. And those uh, cells, uh, let's say this is in the embryo, those cells, they are containing also, you know, these uh, 46 chromosomes each. What I should remind you all that all these cell types, you know, heart, liver, kidney, etc., they are referred to as somatic cell types which make all our body and they contain the diploid number of chromosomes. Diploid chromosome numbers in humans is 46. But these diploid cells during very early embryonic development, they are separated from rest of the embryo. They are uh, protected from rest of the signals which may push cells into mitosis, into cell cycle which eventually lead to mitosis. These cells are protected, these cells are called PGCs, primordial germ cells. They are protected from all the mitotic sickness. In meiosis, for example, in human females, it starts when girls are within their mother's womb, the me meiosis starts. What happens, these primordial germ cells, which are, you know, uh, diploid, their nucleus contains 46 chromosomes, when they undergo, you know, cell division, they enter cell cycle, the product of meiosis is basically 
four cells and these four cells each contain 23 chromosomes. This is mitosis and this is meiosis. So the result is now the four products of meiosis are different than the mother cell because they contain half the number of chromosomes. So the diploid 46 is referred to as 2n number. So diploid and they are the haploid which is 23 number, uh, 23 chromosomes. So product of meiosis is four haploid cells. And they, they, these are, uh, you know, one of them will be potential oocyte and the uh, rest of the three will be uh, degenerated or if it is happening in males, so four cells, all four cells will act as spermatocytes. Now, let's talk about uh, the mitosis and meiosis in relation to um, the cell cycle. And for, you know, uh, relationship of mitosis or the phase of mitosis or meiosis within the cell cycle, let me remind you all that, you know, we learned about cell cycle, uh, cell cycle comprised of phases G1, you have S, G2, and then you have the M phase. So the phase, which is, you know, G1, S, all the way up to G2, this part of cell cycle is referred to as interphase. And this is, during interface, cell receives signal here and, you know, it, after cell division, it grows every cell. There is a very tight correlation between uh, growth of the cell, size of the cell, and then the C into N to N to cell cycle. So, during uh, G1 to S, as soon as cell receives a signal that I have to divide so in order to divide mitotically or meiotically, whichever cell division uh, you think of, cell has to duplicate all its genome. The purpose of cell division is to inherit, so mother cell inherits, it's not only the cytoplasmic content, but all the chromosome, mitochondria as well. So duplication of chromosomal genome, so 46 chromosomes, they need to be duplicated and they duplicate during this S phase, which is called synthesis phase. This is what we learned in our 101 lecture. Now, what happens if we, uh, you know, look at morphologically what should be happening here? So, let's assume this is a cell which has decided to enter into S phase because it wants to go into mitosis. What it is going to do, so now instead of drawing all 46 chromosomes, uh, I'm going to draw just, you know, four pairs of chromosomes, okay? Uh, a cell which has four chromosomes, uh, the diploid number. So if the cell is having, you know, uh, four chromosomes, let me draw all four with different colors so that it's clear. When we say pairs of chromosomes, these are the homologs. They won't be visible 